Okay, discussion on uh, WR contract for phase two of the water treatment plant. Madam Manager. Okay, Mr. Mayor and Council, what you have before you tonight is actually two separate requests. Let's, let's take the first one actually just passed out, um, just received it. As most of the council and mayors are aware, we started this endeavor with phase one of the water treatment plan approximately five, six years ago. During that time, we did a rate study that looked at what the town would need to set our rates at for the next five years to be able to uh, incorporate the debt from the water treatment plant along with any other projects for the town's future growth, such as water and sewer lines. It's now approaching that time frame to where it's going to be crucial for us for upcoming budgeting purposes and to forecast in the future for the next five, ten years to look at doing another water study. Um, what you have before you is tonight from Withers, it's a proposal from Withers Ravenel. Um, it's W.R. Martin. Uh, Martin did our original proposal, so they're able to be able to mimic some of our existing data and forecast for the next 10 years. I do think from a management standpoint, this piece of this puzzle is going to be crucial for us to be able to look and see what our water and sewer rates will need to be in order to start planning for phase two of the water treatment plant. Um, because the second part of this equation is the contract that you have in your agenda packet that looks at phase two of the water treatment plant. I know that we have versed your committee members, Ms. Mashburn and Mr. Culpepper, that we have received some figures with phase two. We had originally anticipated around the $4 million mark, and that was five and a half years ago. You're now looking at around $8 million. Um, so the second part of this equation would be to um, allow WR uh, Martin and Rav Withers Ravenel, if the town desires, to move forward with starting to secure funding. Now this, keep in mind, if you do agree to the second part of this contract, that's not locking you guys in, stating that you are moving forward with phase two, that's simply granting this firm permission along with myself and finance and public works to move forward with trying to secure these funds. That's not committing saying once we receive these funds that still has to come back before the board. The overall push to get this part done is you would get in your spring grant cycle. Um, you might have some grant funding. Odds are it's going to be SRF loan funding which is what phase one was and that cycle starts in April and after discussing this with the consultants you would probably need to have all paperwork submitted by January in order to be considered for the April um, funding cycle. Now keep in mind, even starting this, if we started tomorrow, ground running, you're still looking at probably another, before you even actually started phase two construction, at least three to five years out from there. This is just starting to lay the groundwork to get us there. And that's where we was kind of want some guidance from the mayor and council tonight here are two crucial parts of this equation of where do we want to move forward as a town. It's, while we're at that, uh, something I've been concerned about for a number of years, could we work into that study the feasibility of also having a secondary water source at the confluence possibly between the Little Tennessee and Cartuga J, yeah, J Creek? Not Cartuga J, I'm sorry. The Little Tennessee and uh, Colasage. I'm and sorry. And that's something we're, we mm -hmm. are looking at and we could continue to do with this study. I, I, I think the major issue that's going to be facing municipalities across the state for years is going to be water supply. And if we don't have a good water supply, we have no town whatsoever. I mean, all you've got to do is look at Flint and some other towns and the, the situation they've had. So I was just wanting to mention that in, from the board. That's that's sticker shock. It says eight million. Yeah. It'll be ten million by the time we get it around to yeah. starting to dig and then yeah. putting all of our eggs in in uh, Carter to Jay Creek to me yeah. is not necessarily our wisest move. It may turn out to be after the engineers study it more, but yeah. if we've got some time I'd like to see what our options are. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. And we do have time. You do have time. Um, with phase one, phase one was crucial that we move forward and have that done for your pretreatment operation of it. So we have finished phase one. This would just complete your phase two. But again, like you alluded to, Mr. Collins, I mean, it's it's a couple steps out. 
the main thing that I would it would recommend to the council tonight is to at least get your rate study going um, to start that to look at what kind of debt whether you look at in two or three months or two and three years whenever the council decides to move forward with this whatever that final number is going to be for the second phase of the water plant we need to know what your rate structure is going to look like to be able to accommodate that cost you mentioned grants is there a possibility of outright grants that's what would be in your april there's a little bit there's not a lot but that's what this firm incorporation would look at in your april funding cycle as well as what would be available that's grants are dying up nationally right mm -hmm. now community development block grants are going by the wayside appalachian regional commission funds where we used to get almost unlimited money that's that's gone okay anybody else Okay, do we need a motion on that? We to would proceed. prefer a motion at least um, for the 17.5 to take out of retained earnings to go ahead and start your rate study because that's going to take several months. I move. Okay. I'm okay. confused. Mm -hmm. I'm confused. So I'm okay. We're going to have to find a way to get more water. Mm -hmm. Period. And right now, the, the only thing on the table is getting some more out of Carter and Jay Creek and they're saying it's eight million dollars. I'm a little bit unsure why we need a, a rate study right now because we're gonna have to whatever it costs we're gonna have to have it and, and if we buy it we're gonna have to pay for it. I mean would and the that's the will of war what now. benefit right now would the rate study get us? <laughs> it would at least show you if you want to continue on this path with the Kartuka J Creek, which that is what some of the studies we've looked at currently, and we've dug up some old studies to show that. The only thing the rate study would help you do is really for budgetary purposes and let you see as a council what phase two, how that would impact your residential customers. So we would know whether to go forward. Yes. Or whether we can. Mm -hmm. But they're going to base the rate study off of the $8 million price tag? As of right now, that's the figures we have to work with and they have assured us on multiple meetings that this is what they are comfortable with these prices at this time but i think they would project your your debt service capacity period yes so you would know whether you are putting all your eggs in one basket or you got more eggs than you thought you did or could be. yeah could be okay does anybody want to make a motion or further discussion yeah, i move that we go ahead with the rate study Okay, is that a second? I'll second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Okay. All right, update on.